Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. I've got a stack of pages that were torn out of an old book. I have a piece of scrapbook. It's kind of not quite cardstock. It's pretty heavy. It's a thicker scrapbook paper. And what I thought I would do is because this side is difficult to write upon, the fact that it's striped makes it where it's almost psychedelic. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take some of these pages and adhere it to the back side. I have a little glue bowl that I've made. Basically it's just some white glue and water in here so that it's a thinner amount and I use a peg stamp or peg foam brush on here. And basically all I'm going to do is lay out a few pieces of these paper pieces of paper here and adhere them down. So I'm just going to apply some glue because these pages out of old books are very brittle and I found that I was happier if I could mount them to another piece of paper. So I'm just going to lay this on here and smooth it out. See how it's it's torque when I moved it because I didn't put enough glue up here. So that's why I'm doing this. You don't have to put a coat of glue on top. I just do on some pages if they're really super thin and that helps adhere it and makes them where they're not so brittle. When I put the pages down, I put them in different orientations of the text. I'm okay with it being in different orientations. You can choose to put them all in one direction, but I wanted to have a variety. I'm just trimming off the excess paper and then I'll use these little excess pieces to fill in any holes. I've got a few stencils that I've made, so I'm going to lay these stencils around. And some of them are different designs, so I'm trying to lay them out and be clever with them. Some of them will kind of overlap a little bit. You may not be able to see all of that, but I put these stencils in. These are stencils that I made and I have available in my shop. And then I've got some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I have Precious Metal, Walnut Gold, and Craft. So I'm going to shake these up because they have mica in them. You want to make sure that those are shook up. So I'm going to choose to spray some of these on top just to give a little extra texture. I've got some copy paper here and I'm just going to lay them on top and soak up some of this excess glimmer mist and that might come an element in another project. So that kind of gives a little extra texture and look to it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got some I'm going to dry this and then I've got some rubber stamps that I want to put on here. I have a few rubber stamps that I've collected here. They're just old stamps that I've had for a really long time. Let me get this out of the way. And then I've got some Brutus Monroe Detail Ink and Raven. So this is a permanent black ink. And I'm going to take these stamps and just pretty much stamp them here and there randomly on this paper. This is just a script some saying of some kind. I'm just plopping it down just to give a little texture and I'm okay if you can't quite read what it says because you really can't. <laughs> this is just a swirl stamp and I'm barely touching it. I'm not holding it in place very long because I don't want a very dark image. I just want a little bit of something. Then I've got this little postmark that I'll add here and there. Well there are my stamped images on there. I'm going to move over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew the seam area if you will between each of the papers and then I'll be back. I've went around each of these blocks with my sewing machine just doing a standard zigzag stitch. The next thing I want to do is I want to cut 
some pieces off to make some journal cards out of the background. So I'm just kind of looking at this to see which way I want to go. And I think I'm going to make some three by four cards. So I'm just going to go on to my paper cutter here and cut at four inch mark. And then I'll cut these into three inch pieces. And then what I'll do is start collaging on top of my make. Go ahead and sew. I don't know. I'm looking at it to see. Yeah, I'm going to add some more. So I've got these cards laid out here. Well, I was going to add some more stitching and I've decided I'm not going to add more stitching. I'm just going to work with what I've got here. I have an image from Calico Collage. This is from the One Fine Day journal kit. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to tear this one across the top here. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom. And I think I want to make little collages with this. I'm going to go ahead and tear all the way around. Something like that. I don't want to tear this as well. I have some butterfly and flower border pieces. I got these a while back. But they were on clearance for $1.69. So I'm just going to thumb through these and see what I like. I'm just cutting some pieces of lace to see what it would look like if I put it on these little journaling cards with these other elements that I'm finding. Well, I think I've got the start of some elements that I want to add to these. And I want to do a few things to each one. So I want you to be able to see all four of these when I get them done. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this one. And what I want to do is I want to color this lace just a little bit so it's a darker hue. And I'm going to do that with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I've got Craft here. So again, Tattered Angels Craft. And I'm shaking that up. And I'm just going to spray that directly onto the lace. And then I'm going to use my heat tool to dry this. And then I can use it to layer. I want this to go across the top of my journal card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zigzag stitch this onto the journal card and I'll be right back. So I stitched the lace on there and then I've got this little butterfly border that I want to put on here. So I'm just going to look at it. I think what I want to do is snip it right about here. And then I'm looking at how I've got it here. I'm going to use some of the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect with the fine writing, no clog writing cap. This is the medium. And what I'll do, because this doesn't take a lot of glue, but because there's little bits, you need to be able to get where you want to go. So I'm just going to squeeze just a small amount here and make a little outline. And then this will stick on top of that lace. Help if I don't drop it. So there's got a little bit of glue all the way around. And then I'll just position this on here, like so. I have a little word that I created on my silhouette. And I'm going to use some Distress Ink and go around the edge. It's this vintage photo, and I'm using the Ranger Ink Blending Tool. And I think what I want to do is place this right in here. So I'm going to add some the best glue ever to the back side. Put that down right here. And I know I want to add some Distress Ink to the edges. I should have done that before I put the lace on, but you know, hindsight's 2020. Do the back as well. I'm liking how this is coming together. I'm going to close up the glue so that I'm done with it for a moment. I don't think that these um, little butterflies have near enough glitter on them. I want more glitter. So I've got some tulip glitter and a paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is just add a couple little drops where I want to add glitter. And then I will use the paintbrush to smooth it out. Doing it like this, it'll dry much faster. So you can move on to other things. 
I'll use the best glue ever to clean my brush. So what I'll do is I've got a little rag here and I will spray some on the tip and I will work the brush into that. Because sometimes when I'm sitting at my desk, I won't get up and go wash things immediately. And by doing this, it keeps the bristles from getting hard because of the glitter paint. So it's pretty clean. This is what I use for my glitter stuff. But now I can take it to the sink in a little bit and then I'll rinse out and look really nice. I've got a few flat back rhinestones here that I want to adhere. So what I'm gonna do is use the best glue ever. I'm gonna put a drop of glue where I plan to put each rhinestone. So I'm gonna put one there. Let's put one here. Let's put one here. And then I've got this embelly jelly, which will help me with picking up the gem. I was poking it too hard. And then, all right, normally that works. It's really humid here today. All right, let's put that one right here on top of that glue. All right, so there's my first journal card that I made using my Franken page background and stamps. So let me work on the next one. This one I want to keep relatively simple but cute. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut this flower and I've got a piece of lace on here as well. I'm trying to decide which way I want to put this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch down this lace right here so then I can glue this on top. So I've sewn the stitch the lace on here and now I want to see what else I can do and I found another piece of lace in my stash and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this one with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I know I like to do that a lot and I'm going to spray this Curious. It's a really pretty teal color. And I'm going to dry it with my heat tool, gently, so that I don't scorch or burn the lace. So look at that contrast. And then we've got this little piece. And I think I'm going to trim this up because I've changed what I'm doing here. I'm going to trim this out. I just realized you can't see what I'm doing there. <laughs> And I've got this little word piece I think would go on here. So I'm going to use the Distress Ink on that. Go around the card. I keep changing this around trying to see which I think is the best look here. And I think I've finally decided. Alright, so I'm going to adhere down this lace. Again, I'm going to use the best glue ever with the Precision tip or the writing cap tip because I can go in here and place it precisely on the back side of this lace and leave the open area free so it'll give it a neat texture. I'll place that down and just pressing it with my hand gently. Sometimes if you need to, if it's the stuff's really curly, you may need to put something on top of it. But I find if I just take a moment and just slightly press it, it should stay in place. So now I'm going to place this flower on here doing the same best glue ever by Scrap Perfect with the precision writing cap or writing tip. I keep calling precision because that's what it makes me feel like. I'm getting precisely what I need. I'm going to place this right here. Because I'm going over texture, I'm going to really press on that. And then we're going to put the words down here. I know I want to put a little rhinestone on here, so I'm going to put some glue where I want the rhinestones. So I'm going to put one right there. I think I'll put one right there. And we'll put one right there. So I've got my little rhinestone box, and I've got three spots dots to put a rhinestone. So I'm going to get the biggest one first. And I'm using the embelly jelly again. If you take your time 
to place the jewel in that do the glue first let it set for a moment it makes it tacky quicker and by letting it air dry for a moment so that the gems will fit right down onto it I didn't wait near long enough so I kind of sometimes have to knock it off with my finger but it's so much easier than trying to place it with my fingers all together all right well there is my second little journal card that I made using the little Franken page as the base and then adding the stuff on top all right so I don't forget right off the bat I'm going to go around this journal card with some distressed inks and then I'm going to do the same with the image from Calico Collages One Fine Day this is one of the ATC size or artist trading card size journal cards that usually measure two and a half by three and a half I think I've reduced it so I'm not positive if that's the case all right, I know I want this little piece of lace on here, and I want to put this image down. So what I'm going to do, just for quickness, is I'm going to sew around this bird image. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right in the center to help hold it in place. And I don't have my glasses on. I can't see there it goes so I'm gonna get the lace where I want it and then I'm gonna position little birdies which I think I'm gonna go up here and I'm just rubbing that center and then I'm gonna stitch around here and that's gonna catch the lace and hold it in place and it's gonna put my birds down so I put the zigzag and a little bit of a straight stitch just what the back looks like so far and now I want to place down a little bit of this fern. So I'm just kind of playing with it to see how I wanted to use it. And I think I'm going to use it like this. And have it come across the corner here. And I've got another one of these words that I've created on my silhouette. And I've got a little scrap of denim. So what I'm going to do... And I've got some trim here that it's just really so pretty that I just feel like I want to use some of it. I think that's what I'll do. Alright, so we're going to use the best glue ever again with the no clog writing cap. I'll get it down maybe by the end of this video, y'all. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue right down the stem here and then on the little leaves so it'll stay in place because there's nothing I hate more than you pick up something and all of a sudden it's falling apart because you didn't have a good adhesive and with this scrap best glue ever you're gonna have things that stay together and you'll be very happy so this paper is curved so I'm just holding it down with my hand for a moment and that seems to be stuck so now I'm going to adhere the little word to the piece of denim. Then I'm going to do the same with this little piece of trim. And I think it needs a little rhinestone or two. So I'm going to put one up here. Let's put one right here. And let's put one right here. A big one. Alright, so there is my third little journaling card that I made. I'm liking how these are coming out. They're super duper cute, don't you think? I got a few things out for this one. Again, this is a calico collage image from the One Fine Day. And I've got some lace here. And I may end up using... Let's see what this looks like. I think we're going to do something like this. I'm going to trim this one away. So I've got a basic idea of what I want to do here. So I'm going to use some distressed ink around this image. 
All right, so I know that I want this little piece of fern on here. So I'm going to go up here and trim that free. And I'm going to use the best glue ever. And we're going to adhere this into place. I'm going to put a little on the back of this image because I plan to sew it into place again like I did the other one. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch around this little bird image. I'll be right back. I've stitched all the way around. I just kind of did a really crazy stitch around this time. And I'm laying these eggs on here and they're not standing out like I want. So I just found a little piece of paper. I want to see if that makes a little bit of a difference. I think what I want to do is kind of rip this and then I'm going to put, it's going to be hard because it's really brittle, but I'm going to put some distress ink on this. Now let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. All right, so we're going to glue this on. Again, using the best glue ever and a little precision because this paper is so thin. You don't need a whole lot and if you put a bunch of glue it'll start to warp and wrinkle. I think I want to add some distress ink before I glue this down to make it a little darker edges. Sometimes you must think that I've had a, <laughs> a brain fart or something because I start to talk and then I stop because I'm doing a task. Sometimes I forget to keep talking. I'm like, okay, I gotta do this. Didn't I just tell them? Oh yeah, I gotta finish telling them what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna place this here. And let's see, what kind of word? I've got these all these little words that I cut, and print and cut. Let's do this one, let's do inspire. Oh no, let's do this one. It says, don't forget to fly. I think we can do it like that. All right, so let's add some distress ink. And then we'll put some of the best glue ever on the back. And I think I need a couple of rhinestones again, so let's place one here. Let's place one up here. And let's place one right here. Well, there is the last one that I've got made out of my set of four, and I have enough of these papers that I can make at least eight more out of that. What do you think? Was that something that you can do at home? I guess I could zoom out a little bit. Get these where you can see them all. Wasn't that fun just using the scrapbook paper that I already had, using old book pages. This is some ephemera and bits that I've had for a long time. So it feels good to use some of these and I'll have some little journaling cards. I'm going to put these in my shop and I'll make some more so that they're available as well. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends so that others can find it as well. Ask me questions if you have any questions. If your comments, what would you like to see in the next video of this nature? Do you want to see more collage layering of things? Let me know what you want to see, what themes you want to see. It just kind of helps me create content that I know my viewers are wanting. So please feel free to ask for a certain kind of video. All right, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you check the description box for links to my blog as well as you, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and whatnot, so you can connect with me. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.